been a relatively few bad beats, kind of quiet. Mayhem this week. Yes. All right. Honorable mention scroll of some that didn't make the list, including the Korean zombie. Correct. UFC fight See got an elbow. No look elbow. One second left. That's a bad beat. Yeah. We begin with a game I gave out in winners. Arkansas plus 13 and a half against LSU. They were down 24 3 in the second half. Looked dire, but we are unflappable. Keep the faith. Got to. Roll tape. Roll tape. There's a hog sitting in some sawdust. All right, wow. so keep in mind, you're catching 13 and a half or thereabouts. It's now. There's a boot. Go on the boot. That's not the real boot. Not the real boot. 24 10. Hogs. Late going. Tie story. Cheyenne O'Grady. <laughs> Go ahead, big fella. Shock it. Now, this is a touchdown, and That's 85 effort. got a flag for this. Man. So that backed up the kickoff. And now if you're if you're on the underdog, you just cannot have a score. Play that defense, Hogs. Under two tackle, minutes, Nick tackle. Rosette. Oh no. Oh, oh he's boy. gonna score. Oh. Whoa! He doesn't want to score. He, hmm. he gives himself up. Well, now we're gonna it, take me, sir. You, you assume if he no. does that, it's because Arkansas is out of timeout. So now clearly they'll take knees, except they're still playing football, Steve. What's going on here? Well, now he's going to score. He's. It was harder not to score. Exactly. And teams practice this, Scott. You know, go down, use the clock, and then we'll take knees. I just expect them to take knees. Now, if they wanted to score, but they just didn't want to score this early, I, I just take knees. They're still playing football. Now he's trying to get in the end zone. He, hey. he tried to score the third time. Because I guess they thought, all right, now there's not enough time to clock. Just take knees and let it end. But you know how I see this, Steve? <clears throat> I see this as a winner. Oh, by the way, you can take that L with you. Wow. See what we did there? That's a big one. So that was a that was a bad beat for yep. some. That was a winner for me. Now, Stanford, Steve, you gave out Cincinnati. I did. On the show. Historic Nippert Stadium, Scott. Bang that big old drum. Like 15 degrees Saturday night. South Florida actually impressed me. Now, there was some chicanery. There was some flags that allowed Cincinnati to get in here. This actually would have ah. been a bad beat if Cincinnati scored, but now he goes down on the one. And this is also the new football. You know what? We're down here this close. Style points. Let's go for it and score. Mike, Cincinnati's going to try and score here. Yeah, Michael Warren just gets tripped up. They're okay. still, still playing football. They're going to run a play. What? What? Was that a false start? The play clock was not at yeah. zero, but they said delay a game. Okay, so now you back up, so that means Luke Fickle's got to do some thinking. Got to think about next week playing UCF. Now you got to take a knee. I ain't a fishy if you look at that play clock. Just saying. Yikes. So. Tough one. We got a winner for me on the first one. We got a loss for Stanford. That's all right. Stanford is still hitting like 88 percent. All right. Go go Carolina taking on Duke. Yep. The second half score with Duke giving seven and a half was basically a 14 point game for most of the second half. Yeah. OK. But Carolina here has Nathan Elliott dropping back to pass. Obviously trying to matriculate the ball down the field. Uh oh. And oh that's that's gonna, going the wrong way. That's going to do it. Josh Blackwell grabs it and he takes it to the dojo. But upon review, you'll see that that ball hit the ground. Oh, that hit the ground. So that means that Carolina maintains possession down two scores. Those points come off the board. And now, look at this. How about this dime? Look at that wheel route. Nathan Elliott, Thomas Jackson into the sunshine. How about the catch? Woo -hoo -hoo! Carolina's within seven. But. A couple years ago, Steve, remember the onside kick return was, was the bane epidemic. of our existence. It truly was an epidemic. And here comes Freeman Jones and see ya. Jake Bobo! <laughs> and Bobo gives himself up. And this turned into a real dicey situation, Scott, in the game. But, like, he's gone. But then I don't know if he's I mean, gone. the angle here, but still, when have we seen a guy try and go down on that play? Never. And I'm not sure it was the right play because Carolina had all three timeouts. It got dicey late there. But, uh... We had to show you that one because you haven't seen that that transpire late in games. Wow. Now we make our way to San Antonio for something so hideous. We will speak of it now and never again. The dreaded part two. It's FIU hmm? UTSA. There are 24 combined points with 1207 remaining and the total is 47 and a half. So they have to double the points. Yep. Oh, that's a strike. Christian Alexander. Oh, I beg your pardon. That was uh, James Morgan to C.J. Wharton. Touchdown. Oh, oh now boy. we got a pick six. Oh, boy. Rocky Jacques Louis. Pick six. Here's Christian Alexander with 122 to go. Could have gone down. No knee for him. Touchdown. 
Got to account for the quarterback. We're at 45 now. No headset for coach. No, it's, we're, we're, we know what's going on. They're not going to run the kickoff back. No, no. <laughs> it's it's a kickoff and it's a knee, but it's the rarely seen unsportsmanlike wow. on a kickoff down in the end zone. Which is like what? No. Okay. On you, coach. Here's here's DJ Gillis. Yep. Not having a robust afternoon. Bunch of turnovers. They haven't scored. Now he runs it mm. into FIU territory, and he's injured on the play. We'll take a we'll take a quick quick break at this point, just to let you know that at this point we need you to understand that up to this point in the last two games, all right, we're going to show this behind you. What UTSA has done on offense: 23 possessions that they had. It's not good. 11 punts, five interceptions, three turnovers on down, one half ended, one missed field goal, one fumble, and one field goal. Now DJ Gillins is out, an injured UTSA quarterback. Uh, he's injured, so Bryce Rivers comes in. Rivers is a sophomore, hadn't taken a snap all year. Last action, September 2017. His last two snaps were as follows. A pick six in that game yep. and a fumble. Positive, let's go. Here's the first snap, first and 10. Bryce Rivers hadn't taken a snap. Handoff? Nope. Nope. Sling it. Ty Key Ogle Kellogg. That's a touchdown. That's a bad beat, Scott <laughs> Van Pelt. I'm not saying that fan in the stands had the had the under, but I don't know what else could have been the reaction. This fourth quarter, there were 24 points on the board. We saw 28, including. Touchdown from Bryce Rivers. If you had the over or the under in that game, can you tweet us, please? Because I need to know your name.